which each day is a thousand. So Adam lived to be 930. Is that a thousand? What is it? 70 weeks shy. 70 years shy. So the question in the eyes of God, according to Peter, did Adam live past the day? No. See, God says some very deep stuff. Because <laughs> the clock is going to start when you and Eve what? Sin. That's my new week of time. But at the end of 6,000 years, as Ellen Wright said, I wish I could use these quotes for y'all. But I didn't want to go into that today because it will take a long series of time. But it's beautiful stuff. It took me three years to put it together. But at the end of those 6,000 years, just like Ellen Wright says, that's it. That is Satan's what? Time. And he knows that his is he knows that his time is short. See stuff he knows it. Folks will come and rat him on it. This is no Mickey Mouse affair. This is going down. I have studied this chart in the context of the Bible for big time. And each time, right on time, God delivers. He will rest on his 7,000th year millennium. Whether we choose to believe it or not, it completes the 7,000th year. And we're home. It's the year of Jubilee at the end of that. One more thing before I sing this last song. What is the year of Jubilee? How do you define it? It will certainly be a year of Jubilee in complete fulfillment. Now the second coming of Jesus will be a jubilee too because we get the new Jerusalem, right? What's up there in Jerusalem? Mansions? And another thing. This temple? Boy, y'all missing a big something every time with the jubilee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where was Adam and Eve place? What happened to that? It went back that when? When did that garden certainly transport itself back up there to heaven? Up there in heaven? Spirit of prophecy told, tells us. When? Huh? Right before the flood. The whole thing was up to that point was guarded. Nobody would ever get. Angel was, I'm turning, I'm turning the sword. Don't even think about coming up in here. You know, so it stayed there guarded by those angels for i tell you exactly 1,656 years. That's the year of the flood. Biblically sound. 1,656. Look it up in the commentaries. Oh, hell, everything. I compared it with the spirit prophecy and did with, with the Bible commentary. It was 1,656 years when the flood came. Literal years. years from creation. Yeah, 1,656 years from the day that God said, Let there be light. The first day of the week was the beginning of our time, but that was not the first thing in creation. What was the first thing in creation? Light, as far as civilized time. Who's the light of the world? So everything starts with <laughs> even our creation. Y'all thought the first day of the week was the first day in creation, didn't you? No, let there be light. Then he separated the light from the darkness, and that was the beginning of the first day. But everything starts with Jesus. He says, I am the Alpha. And I am the Omega. You see? It's important to know this. So anyway, we get to Jubilee. Because the Garden of Eden is up there in the new city, Jerusalem, now. That was Adam and Adam's race home, wasn't it? What happened at the Jubilee? You get to get your property back. <laughs> you see, 
You get your property back. You lost it. The devil stole it, right? He usurped it. But God said, I'm going to get it back to you. I'm going to get it back to you. So the second coming of Jesus is a jubilee. Testified by E.G. White. But at the end of the thousand years, it's also a jubilee. After all the sevens are completed, seven times seven, that's 49. The 50th year is the jubilee. So after all the sevens and all of our history are complete, at the end of the 7,000th year, it's a jubilee. And you get your land back. Out of his rest of the world now. All of earth is yours now. You get your home back. Isn't this beautiful stuff? God is their instruction. Now with that, I'm going to drink of water here, and it will sing the last song. And the people have been here for a solid hour and 30 minutes. And that is too long for me to be doing this. So go ahead. And play that song. Okay. I'm working on it. That's okay. Things aren't cooperating. That's okay. That's been the whole my story the whole two weeks. <laughs> It's a beautiful song, though, is City Call Hill. Yeah. Wait just a second. It says no, right? Well, it says 99. It says 99? Instead of 9. Okay. Well, it, it, it's going to work. Just hold on. It ain't going to get you to play it through my computer. No, it'll work. It just has to reload. Okay, but it's important to know this, folks, that we are going to have a grand family reunion. It's going to be a beautiful marriage. It's, that marriage is really spectacular because it's the antitypical feast of tabernacles. I think, it, I think it's ready. Okay, running into time one. Piece of tabernacles is a beautiful thing too, I discovered. It's an eight day feast. The first of the eight days is a Sabbath. The eighth is a Sabbath. There's a city called Heaven across a beautiful sea.